Uh, here's the starting point. Mm-hmm. Seahawks are a three and a half point favorite, but I, we have to talk about the total. Forty and a half. It is down to a flat forty. But again, th- we'll we'll talk about the game. The fact that that total though is a forty. How much of that is a reaction from every game going over in week number one? How much of that is, oh, well, the starters are supposed to be out there more. It means there's going to be way more points. Combination of both. It really is. Because you're looking at the ebbs and flows of the NFL, which typically week one is usually an ugly product. A lot of 16 to 11s, you know, a lot of bad quarterback play. Fourth quarters where teams are just looking to get in and get out and not get anybody injured. But now we're anticipating in a three-week preseason, Kevin, week two being that dress rehearsal. So maybe a cleaner game script. And also taking a look at teams like the Bears and the Seahawks, particularly the Seahawks, still have a quarterback competition up in the air. So you feel you're going to get your best foot forward, at least from one of those teams but I think you're right there we saw a lot of scoring in the first week that might continue in the week two and the books are bracing for that for me though this is this stuff always kind of has to have a middle point right we talk about oh these teams haven't played in a while it's going to be a lot of rust and I'm always like but why is that why is the defense never rusty why are people not running wide open right we're now kind of going the other direction or oh the starters are playing yeah the defensive starters are are as well. It's not just the offensive starters. Yeah. I wonder if the Bucks gone a little bit too far here. The Chicago Bears were one of the main unders of that opening slate, a 19-4 game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Seahawks played their game against Pittsburgh, went well over the total 32-25. Here's another jumping off point, though, for you, Donnie. How much Geno Smith are we getting here? Is this quarterback room just Geno Smith and Jacob Eason? Because I am sure their plan was another full half of Geno, full half of Drew Locke, but kind of flip around the the timing of it all. But you don't have Drew Locke this week. I'm sure there's still stuff you want to see from Geno Smith. Do you need the full half? Where do you think the Seahawks land in terms of how they divvy up the playing time in the quarterback room? Obviously, we know that you know, the starter in this game is going to be Geno Smith. So from a betting perspective, if you know you're going to get a clean first half, or at least a first quarter, that's probably the way you lean with the Seahawks. But I think you bring up an interesting point because it's not so much a quarterback competition tonight, but the same way that you would view and say, all right, well, let's just say there wasn't a quarterback competition and it's week two in the preseason. How long did you want your starter, which would be Geno Smith, to play? Does he got to play a full half, three quarters in this game to get ready for the season? Because every NFL team will say to you, regardless of winning in the preseason, how healthy do you escape the preseason when you're ready for week one? Mm -hmm. So now if we're looking at the Seattle Seahawks where Geno Smith is the starter, is this one where boy, we might have played him a half and gave Drew Locke a half, or at least until some of these guys heated up. But we can't afford to lose Geno Smith now also because, number one, of practices, which you know Drew Locke's not going to be around. It hasn't been around with COVID here. But also moving forward, you can't lose Geno Smith at this point. We have a question mark on Drew Locke. And if you think Geno Smith now is the upper hand to be your starting quarterback week one, he can't play all that long tonight, can he? Outside of the normal quarter, quarter and a half that you would expect. That's the thing, though, is it's now a quarterback room that's just down to two men with Eason being the other guy. Are we going to do three full quarters of Jacob Eason? Sounds like a lot, but you might, but you're doing at least a full half of Jacob Eason, and that is a big-time change from last week where he didn't play at all. So, again, I look at this total. I think this might lean a little more under here to start week number two of the preseason. Do you... Are you moved at all by this, though, these lines here? Do you agree with me on an underlook? Are you more jumping off with a side here? Back Seattle at home. The Bears are terrible. How do you see this game here from a betting angle? Yeah, it's, it's hard to try to put your, you know, projections for a regular season into a preseason, which means, like, ah, Bears think on offense, not going to move it. So easy to take the under 40. And quite frankly, a Geno Smith-led Seattle Seahawks often doesn't light up the room either when you talk about some of the other offenses, players, and quarterbacks around the NFL. So I would be with you in leaning towards an under 40 because once you get through Geno Smith and Justin Fields, by the way, is, is Justin Fields even playing tonight? I assume he is at this point. I didn't see anything where I'm trying to handicap yeah. the game where he's sitting out. So he's going to probably get his quarter. Both of these teams don't really enamor me at this point. So the under probably makes sense. But just from a betting perspective, you're right. If I'm looking at Geno Smith, who, again, 
the front office here, the coaching staff, is going to put their best foot forward, as I like to say, with that Geno Smith start to say, let's give him some opportunities here to try to extend his lead over Drew Locke mm -hmm. if Drew Locke is not going to be the quarterback and not keep it all that vanilla. But I don't know what I'm getting out of Eason for a half or three quarters of football mm -hmm. here. So I would look towards the under, but also if you're betting the Seahawks, probably a first half bet on the Seahawks might make a little bit of sense.